r slash ask reddit what do you want humanity to achieve before your death a cure for alzheimer's it's such a terrible disease and it would be nice to know that it's gone before I go and also if by chance I were to develop it, because it does run in my family, that I wouldn't have to put my family through that. Both my grandparents on my dad's side are losing themselves very quickly right now. It's very hard to see every day. It's really sad. My grandma died of Alzheimer's when I was 8. Thankfully I don't really remember too much. But it was really hard for my parents to take care of her. And everything had to be labeled. She refused to eat or take her pills and it was so shitty. I feel so sorry for you. 100% agree. My grandpa died from Alzheimer's when my mom was still young. Nobody really talks about it. But sometimes mom will share a bit of her childhood. Like how she would have to go get her dad from the neighbor's house because her dad had gotten confused and wandered away. My grandma almost never talks about grandpa. But I can tell she misses him because she plays his favorite song when she's missing him. It's heartbreaking. A cure for tinnitus. Nothing world changing. I know. But I'd like to hear real silence without the ringing again. I literally didn't know tinnitus wasn't something everyone had. I always thought everyone just heard ringing. No clue why. I've had forever and always assumed it was normal. About a year ago found out that wasn't true. That it was a condition. Still pissed that everyone doesn't always hear this and that it never stops. I could use a cure. First walk on Mars. Somehow even with advances in technology the exploration seems so frozen in time now considering how fast we went from man in space to man on the moon. I just hope to see it, be it NASA, SpaceX, India's space agency, I don't care. It's very likely that the first person to walk on Mars is alive today. I believe I am that human being. I watched the Doctor Who episode The Waters of Mars last night and it really threw me off to realize I'll be about the same age as Adelaide Brooke. I know this is off topic, but that episode was ducking amazing. Definitely one of Tennant's best. Contact with aliens or confirm the existence of an advanced civilization. Second, even if the aliens weren't communicating, just to see video of alien creatures on an alien planet would be very cool. I would die so much happy if they just found a civilization. It would be completely amazing. Shit, I'd be thrilled if they found alien single-celled life. Good environmental practices. I want to die knowing that the planet will be habitable for all of my niece's life. Absolutely, let's pick up our act. Affordable space flight. I'd like to return to Earth. So safe and reliable. 2. Please. We can have affordable. Safe or reliable. Pick 2. Is there a difference between safe and reliable? Or do you mean it might just be delayed several times over? Think I'll get a bonus from being bumped from my intergalactic seat? Yes and the intergalactic police will beat the shit out of you and drag you off the flight. I came on to say this. I will spend stupid money, $100,000 or so, to go to space. I'm not rich at all, but I will delay retirement. Eat beans and rice for years. Whatever. I will cry tears of pure joy floating in space looking down on the planet. Full dive VR. It's all fun and games until some crazy guy traps you in the game. Gosh dang it NASA, just give us another moon walk. Just one. I want it in 4K 60 frames per second glory. We have the technology. An affordable cure treatment to Parkinson's. This. Two years and a few days ago I lost my grandma to Parkinson. Every time I see there is news about a new treatment or something I get really excited because I know what Parkinson's does to people and it is horrible. My grandfather went from an outgoing energetic soul, to now someone that seems trapped within his own mind. I see his old self within him but his expressions and health has very clearly deteriorated. This has all happened within a few years, and it's been so hard on my grandmother mostly. He's still around and I worry about him a lot. And as I've grown I've wanted to have so many conversations with him and ask him all sorts of questions about his eventful past. But it's clearly difficult for him to remember and even comprehend. It's more than just a physical struggle. It's everything. I never understood that. Yeah, duck Parkinson's. Abandon the disposable lifestyle. AKA the world our grandparents great grandparents lived in. 
My grandfather was so upset that it was cheaper to replace his 42 inches flat screen than to repair it. He had paid a lot of money for that TV. And it was only 10 years old. Evidence based, rational and respectful politics. First you need an evidence based, rational and respectful populace. Taking the wrapper off a Reese's peanut butter cup without taking the entire bottom of the cup. Put it in the freezer for a little bit before you eat it. It's snappier, unwraps perfectly and doesn't get all over your hands. So what you're saying is that we will have to develop cold fusion to achieve this? Meta. Cure for cancer. Almost certainly too late for my generation but I would love my daughter and or grandkids to grow up in a world cancer free. Man. Unless League of Legends gets shut down, there'll always be some cancerousness in the world. There is already a cure for many types of cancer. The problem is that cancer is pretty much coded into our DNA. Any organ that lives long enough will eventually get it. But we can stop early deaths and have for many types. So that one is pretty close to being true if you finagle it a bit. Cold fusion. It would lead to most of the things mentioned being achieved. If you take two wet towels and throw them in the freezer on top of one another they'll be cold fused in an hour. Cold fusion. It would lead to most of the things mentioned being achieved. I mean, we're slowly but surely on track to achieving regular fusion reliably and without the use of magic. So there's that. There's a lot of really exciting work being done in that area. No magic? That's no fun then. I demand magic fusion. I've always thought it would be cool to have a machine that could record and play back your dreams. It would be awesome to be able to experience that because I have very weird and vivid dreams. Many of which I would love to relive. I know there are people that are actually working on something like that. But it's probably still a long time from being what I want. Have you seen the movie Paprika? It is fictional. But centers around a stolen piece of technology much like this. I think you would like it. I second this. Amazing movie. Anything made by Satoshi Kon is an absolute masterpiece. Immortality. Or a way to back up myself up into a computer. Half-Life 3. You going for immortality? Hope is what gets us through the night. A cure to aging. If you're currently young, it's not unrealistic. Imagine all the money spent on age-related health issues freed up, and retirement just becoming a long vacation. Which you could actually enjoy, while thinking about what to do for the next few decades of your life. If you lived long enough, you would live to an era when your body can be rebuilt, made young again or more realistically, made so cybernetic that you would have capabilities that humans never had before. How ducked up would it be to live long enough to see a cure to aging, as in being able to stop its progress, but not be able to reverse it for all the 90 year olds still alive, immortality spent in body that doesn't work. I'll gladly become immortal in a decrepit body, sooner or later, technology will advance to the point it can replace it. Complete and total shift away from fossil fuels and retooling worldwide infrastructure to operate solely by renewable energies. Also, i.e. that takes on the sustainable farming for people and ends all world hunger. Stop climate change. The ability to resolve back problems. I feel like there's too much hate in the world, so love and acceptance of each other would be nice. Space colonies. I want to see this. And it means travels in space are affordable. Affordable housing. Well I'm expecting to live until around the 2070s. So the colonization of Jupiter's more habitable moons. Space cowboy hijinks. Making the earth less habitable due to a hyperspace gate explosion on the moon. Basically I want the world of cowboy bebop. Is that too much to ask for an old man? I'm still waiting for the hoverboards. Widespread sustainable cities and clean energy. The ability for my son to put his dirty dishes in the dishwasher. Emotional machines. Well, I was listening to NPR some time ago and one of their guests said that we haven't been able to actually decode the brain and its effect on our emotions. He went on to say, if this could be done, and humans could understand how the brain works at that level, they could replicate the process and give machines emotions. A rumba that can get hasty about a sock on the floor and shout at me would be a path down memory lane which I won't appreciate no. I am setting the bar low. Critical thinking. The end of the anti-vaxx movement. 
start work on our first megastructure project in space. My money is on large solar panel farms that double as sunshades for the planet. The unrealistic dream though is brain implant computers that allow for simulated reality. 300 terabytes storage. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.